So I'm recording this video on the day that I fly to the UK to celebrate Christmas with my family for the first time in two and a half years, so I'm very, very excited. But there's a reason I'm recording this video today, because it's going to be a manic deadline day. Roll the intro. Yes, hello everybody and welcome back to the Sunderland Save on FM 22 and we are on the finances page because that's the page that gives nothing away when you load up into the game uh, and it means that I can talk around things without you actually knowing what's going on but you can see the balance is doing very well. £38 million in the bank. We've made a profit of £12 million this month in January which will give a bit of an indication of what's happened. Uh, the transfer budget, £40.4 million. 32.6 is what it was when they gave us some more money. And uh, yeah, it's gone up. So I guess we need to go and look at the outs in January so far. So going down in date order, Jed Steer, believe it or not, a 31-year-old Scottish goalkeeper, has gone to Liverpool on £35,500 a week. I, we weren't paying him that, definitely not. Um, I thought for th a 31 year old who's not really our first choice goalkeeper anymore, he can go. Yeah, 220k. I'll take that. It's 60k profit. He was really good for us in the championship. Obviously, Bazuno come in and as our first choice goalkeeper, but yeah, he didn't even play for us in the Premier League. Hence, there's no there's no year there to even say he was with us in the Premier League. But anyway, Jed Steer's gone. Um. He, he was good. He was good in the championship. I, I wouldn't pay him 35000 35, pounds £35 a week. That is crazy money for a 31-year-old backup goalkeeper. Crazy. Tom Flanagan has gone to Nottingham Forest. He was our backup, backup, backup centre-back. Yeah, I think he was fifth choice. Uh, he's, he's not very good. He's 32. His contract was running out. I thought, let's just cash in and get the money. One appearance in the championship. No appearances for us this season. Uh, didn't okay. He played a fair bit actually in that League One season, but generally, yeah, no need to keep him around. We're going to lose him on a free at his contract, so I thought let's just cash in 10k. I'm happy with that. He's still only worth 10 to 30k. He joins Nottingham Forest as a fringe player anyway. So yeah, see you later, Tom. And the big one, Dennis Serkin has left the club to join West Brom. Back down into the championship, actually. No Premier League teams wanted to take a punt on him. He was refusing, flat out refusing to sign a new contract. And I didn't want to lose him on a free because he's actually got some value. So uh, we've cashed in him. We got £9 million from him from West Brom, which is an £8 million profit for what Sunderland paid uh, Tottenham for him. Um, he just he couldn't cut it in the Premier League. It was very strange. I mean, to get a 7.25 average in the championship, jump up to the Premier Division where you've been training your youth career, a 6.62 in 14 appearances with one assist. And I know we're not a strong team in the Premier League, but if you look at how our league season's gone, that's really poor when you compare it to Messina. So I thought, you know, if he doesn't want to sign a new contract... And we're going to get money for him. Let's just sell him because he's not really been that impressive. Two appearances for West Brom and a 6.9. He'll probably come back to the Premier League with West Brom or with another team. Someone will probably take a punt on him. But I, yeah, I just thought for that, it, it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense to give him a new contract if he's not performing. And he, and he was putting up such a fuss about the contract anyway that Dennis Serkin leaves. And yeah, left back's a place we're hopefully going to strengthen on the deadline day. But he is good. Just didn't work for him this year. Um... Not too sad to see him go. I think Messina's doing a decent job at left back. But yeah, let's see how this one works out. It could bite us in the arse, but who knows. Uh, and then finally, another player that was just kicking up a right fuss. So Fane Alakouch has left as well. Just He was easily the backup to Max Ahrens. Uh, another one. Six appearances are 6.54. He didn't ever really show why he should be starting above Max Ahrens. So we've sold him for £4.4 million, a £500,000 profit uh, over to Russia. Where again... They're paying him 34 grand a week, which is, I think, too much. We were paying him 40 grand a week, so I was just happy to get that off the wage bill because it didn't make sense to pay him that much money when we're not, when he wasn't playing very well and we weren't really playing him. So I'm happy to do that. 3.9 million, we probably spent a little bit too much on him, but like, yeah, 500k profit in half a season. Uh, Sofane Alakouch is uh, out of the club. And that's it. There's no ins in January so far. It's just been a bit of a clear out of the Deadwood, and that is, uh, 
yeah, meant our squad is looking quite thin on the ground, to be honest. Um, yeah, this is this is everyone in the first team squad at the moment, and that is not very many people at all. Um, in fact, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, well, ten, and then eleven. Twenty-one people in the first team squad. So I'm hoping that this deadline day that we're about to go into is going to be pretty interesting let's uh let's dive in and see what happens we'll have a, a quick look at everything that's going on so Damsgaard has been rumored to go to Tottenham Isaac from Newcastle to Atletico Madrid Diego Jota from Liverpool to Arsenal and Mikel Moreno from Real Madrid to Chelsea so quite a lot happening on in terms of um in terms of potential deals that could be happening out there I expect that number to absolutely skyrocket 107 million spent on the day i think that's going to be absolutely huge there's a few more down here as well alan damari gray uh, oscar romero these all look like, like deals that could be happening uh, and going out but we are looking for a left back i think maybe because i sort of want to get rid of connor townsend as well he's not very good um <laughs> a left back to to compete with messina to basically to replace dennis serkin i think a, we definitely need a right back to Compete with Max Ahrens, but someone that's going to be happy to also sit on the bench because Max Ahrens is our first choice right back by quite some way. I mean, he's had a fantastic season for us so far, a 6.97. Hopefully, he can get a few more goal contributions. But uh, yeah, overall, been very, very solid for us at right back. And then I don't know, really, probably a central midfielder just to give some uh, maybe battling for McCorry, um, Embleton and Garner, as well as uh, Sambi Laconga. I think having another one in there could be pretty useful. And then we're just going to see. If there's any bargains that come up, if there's anyone that we can potentially take a punt on on deadline day, relatively cheap, maybe on a loan. Um, we can't do another loan from the Premier League, but maybe a loan from like one of the bigger clubs out in Europe for someone that isn't playing well for them. But uh, yeah, let's let's dive in and wait and see. Okay, so with 13 hours to go, we're diving in to have a quick look at uh, who is basically on the transfer list and interested in moving to us. And a really interesting name popped out at me, Shea Adams. And not because it's Shea Adams, it's because he plays for Man City. And he didn't just play for Man City. They paid £41 million for him after having him on loan. That's crazy. Why would they do that? They, they want £24 million for him. He's not worth it. I mean, he probably is worth it. He probably is better than Ricky J. Jones. Or um, who else have we got up front? Dane Scarlett. But Dane Scarlett, I think I'd rather keep the money and pay £31 million for Dane Scarlett to bring him in. Um, at the end of the season. But there's quite a few different people on here. Ryan Sessegnon, Timothy fosu Mensa, uh, Connor Gallagher from Chelsea as well, who I think would probably fit our system really well. Does lack a little bit in some attributes. But yeah, for 12.5 million, I feel like that could be a little bit of a bargain. And another young Englishman we've sat with, weirdly for me in this save, there's been quite a few sort of uh, English signings there. Ben Johnson, who's on our shortlist. Jamal Lowe from Fulham as well. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Lazaro's in there as a right back. Now, would he be happy to potentially sit behind Max Ahrens? Because it's another, it's basically the same player. It is basically the same player. I'm just wondering if we went loan. Oh, we can't loan. We've got two domestic loans in already. £14.25 million. It wouldn't break our budget. It wouldn't really hinder us. Let's just, we'll give him a scout. It probably won't come in in time. Let's see what the agent says. Um, we are interested in signing Lazaro. He's delighted. Um, considered among the most noteworthy players, so that's not going to happen because he's not going to replace Max Ahrens. I don't know, 14 and, 14 and a half million pounds for Valentino Lazaro, though, does seem somewhat decent. How's he been playing in the Premier League? Pretty poor this season, pretty average last season. Also didn't really do much in the Premier League. And we don't need... A right winger. We need a right back. Because the reason we don't need a right winger is because we do have... Um, where is it? Where is it? Ian, you can see there we've, we've made a bit of a Luca Pellegrini as well as the left back. That's a, an ongoing deal, but I think he's going to sign for a different club. We've, we've got Marcus Edwards coming on a free, which I think is great for our, our winger position. So we're not looking for a winger because Marcus Edwards is joining us for free from uh, from Portugal. Um, once of Tottenham, they paid 88000 for him. He's been doing pretty well, uh, pretty average this season. But yeah, I think he's going to be superb for us next year if we keep the save going. And... Um, yeah, I just think there's there's a few things we can look at in terms of 
in terms of players. So I'm going to go through this list and potentially have a go at making some offers. And then we'll see... Uh, oh, Bazour as well. 27-year-old for a central midfielder, potentially. Right, potentially. I'm going to go through this list. We'll come back if there's any offers or any updates or anything like that. Ah, yes. As expected, Luca Pellegrini has actually gone to Fulham. That's not... I thought he would go to Watford. But he's gone to Fulham. Um... They are in the Premier League. They are below us in the Premier League. But Luca Pellegrini uh, hasn't moved to us. He's buggered off and moved to, uh, to Fulham. How close are we to signing him? Fairly close. We agreed on things, but it just wasn't to be. And there you go. Fulham signed Luca Pellegrini. So we're going to have to um, get on the hunt for another backup left back then. Brilliant. Okay, we've had an offer, an offer, an, an offer, an offer accepted for Ben Johnson, the right English right back, 24 years old. Um, I think he's going to be happy to be a backup. We're, we're going to pay around about 9.2 million for him, the money they want, but it's mostly over the, the never never. It's like two and a half up front and then the rest over three years. And I feel like as a backup, I think he's going to be pretty decent. He's played one appearance this year, 7.5, only two last year on a 6.8. He did have more then and got a 6.6, .6, but I think as a backup, he's going to be pretty useful, and he can cover left back if needed. So I sort of feel like this is a good all-round cover to bring in. At 24 years old, it sort of it suits how we've been buying players recently as well. So young, English, weirdly, as I said before, but yeah, see, a squad player I think is good. Let's see if we can get him as an impact sub. He's happy to be an impact sub, and he's happy to take a pay cut, I think, as well. So I'm more than happy to give you 20 grand a week, 600k signing fee, um, or a lot, yeah, signing on fee, 43 grand as they get to the agent, whatever. Um, appearance fee can come down a little bit. These can all just get a little nuts. So they're nice round numbers. In fact, let's put that at 40, so it's a round number uh, as well. And he loves the round numbers. I think Ben Johnson's going to be our first deadline day signing, as we also had to take a question, are we going to loan Ricky J. Jones out? Of course we're blooming not. He's our... Like second best striker at the club behind Dane Scarlett. But eight hours remaining. Looks like we've got one deal coming in. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the last. Let's uh, let's see what happens. Ah, right. We are negotiating with Chelsea for Connor Gallagher, who is listed at 12.5 million. They want 16 million because I'm asking them to pay 15 grand of his wage. He's on 50k a week. He's going to want to come in and be a regular starter, I think. Um. I'm sort of thinking we can probably trim this down a bit. I don't mind giving him the 3 million up front. But if we trim this down to maybe match his value of... See, 12.5. If we give you 13, we'll go with that, right? They want 16 still, but 12.5. All right, we'll give you 16, but you pay that 15 grand of his wages. I think that's a fair deal. 3 million up front, 13 million over three years, 16 million in total for a 23-year-old... Very good, very energetic, very hard-working central midfielder, which is, what's, which is what we need. Really suits our system well. And Conor Gallagher could be in. Again, not having the best of seasons last year. Done all right when he's played this year. The loan to Crystal Palace, he played really well on a 6... Well, sort of well on a 6.8. But I think in the right system for us, he could perform very well. So I'm more than happy for that 16 million to go. And we're not having any bids on our players. Gallagher is very interested in negotiating terms. Feels there's better opportunities elsewhere one of them being Aston Villa so we're going to start with the negotiations yeah he wants to be a regular um, and then next year be an important player that's probably that's probably fair uh, who have we got we haven't got anyone on loan though have we so we've got Lakonga Ghana yeah he probably will because he'll probably replace McCory next year I imagine um you want to play as a midfield center with a ball winning midfielder I don't like really agreeing to any of these sort of things so we're just going to get rid of them but agree to to say that um you can get the the playing time that you want, and he's happy with that. Thirty nine and a half, so he's getting fifteen grand from Chelsea as well. So if we go to thirty five, that means he's still earning fifty grand a week. Two million signing on fees a lot. We'll go one point five for that, and then we'll drop your uh, agent fee down to two hundred. Appearance fee eight grand. I don't mind that. You're not getting a yearly wage rise. No one gets that for me. And a minimum fee release clause. I'm going to, in the Champions League, I'm going to knock that down to 35 because it should sweeten the deal a bit as well. A lower release clause generally gets them to agree to lower terms. Okay, he wants it to go up because we took out the 10% uh, pay rise. So we'll give you 37, we'll give you 1.5, we'll give you 250k to your agent, which is a rip, and we'll go with that. No, Okay, so we'll go, again, we'll say 37, 1.5, 250 
250k but we'll say for 34 million someone can take you there you go so a million off gets into the deal that we actually want and i think if we get 34 million that's a decent profit according to that we're paying 16 million for him so let's see we've made an offer for conor gallagher it's been accepted we've given him a contract offer let's see if aston villa try and poach that deal because he probably would move to villa over us they are a high reputation team um why have we left it so late there's seven hours to go mate that's not late uh, we wouldn't be so foolish to suddenly act on a situation. Plenty of discussions have taken place regarding this deal, and the board have decided this to be the best approach. Let's uh, remember that sentence. Just because there's seven hours left, we wouldn't be so foolish as to suddenly act on a situation. That, that's what we're going to say. Let's see how the rest of the transfer window and deadline day pans out. Ah, so Ben Johnson has agreed to join, which is lovely. He is going to be our first actual confirmed transfer of deadline day as uh, Ben Johnson joins. I'm very happy about that, actually. I think it's a good deal. Not very. No, it's, a, it's a fair bit of money, but it's not huge in terms of how we've structured the payment for it. He comes in. He's going to be good. Um, I think if we compare him to... Well, what would, oh yeah, we know most of his attributes. So actually, yeah, if we compare him to Max Aaron's then... You can see here it's not too bad. Max Ahrens is quicker, has a slightly more physical, better vision. Actually attacking it is Ben Johnson who's got the better attributes. Technically it's Max Ahrens, but aerially, mentally, defending wise. So they, I think they're going to be quite a good sort of yin and yang between them. I think they're going to be pretty decent. And if you look at the difference in wages, we're paying 90 grand a week to Max Ahrens to be our starter. And then we're going to be paying something like, was it 30k, something like that, to Ben Johnson to be our backup. I think that's, I think we're getting a good deal there. I'm happy with that. Ben Johnson, welcome to the club. And we have two bits of news on this page now because Conor Gallagher has agreed to move as well, which I think is absolutely brilliant. 3.1 million basically up front for him, uh, the agent, and the transfer fee, and then it's going to be over three years. He's going to come in, Conor Gallagher, 23 years old. I'm very happy with this. Another Englishman we're coming in. And if you see the other bit of news, we've had an offer for Harry Winks. Except Now, Harry Winks, I'm not a huge fan of Harry Winks, right? But in this game... Those are some good attributes. They really are some good attributes. We've agreed a deal for 1.5 million. 1.5 million for Harry Winks. 27 years old. He's probably going to want to be a first team player. But if we can get him down to regular starter or squad player, I'm going to be really, really happy. I think he's going to come in and be probably one of the better... I mean, they're saying he's going to be the best central midfielder at the club, our scouts. And I feel like we should trust our scouts. Like, we've got a good scouting system. They've done very well for us recently. I think it's a deal. I, I know we're, we've just agreed Conor Gallagher, but for one, 1. 1.5 million, surely we make a profit on that, even if we want to sell him. So let's see what he wants. Say he wants to be important. We're not going to strengthen midfield because that's what you're coming in to do. We'll say squad player. Now, nah, see, he wants to be important. What about regular starter okay he's happy to be a regular starter so it's not going to be too bad 165 grand a week are oh, you having an absolute giraffe what that is absolutely crazy well we can we'll give you 60 um 2.5 okay you're definitely not that keen to move to us are you that is harry winks get get john knight get him out the door that is ridiculous 45 grand just to make an appearance i mean 20 is pushing it We'll give you 20. Unused sub, you can uh, 17. Like, let's whack in a, a minimum fee for clubs in the Champions League in case he wants to go. We're paying, like, what, 1.5. So if they give us 20, you can go. 160 grand a week. Are you having an absolute giraffe, mate? What is that? 2.5. This is the greediest agent and player I think I've ever, ever dealt with. You're on 90 grand a week not playing for Spurs. Why would I pay you 100 and something grand a week? 40k every appearance you make. And we'll say if someone pays 15 million for you, 17 million, they can take you. No. Okay. Right. If we go back in for Harry Winks, Tottenham are going to have to pay some of his wages. But we've got Conor Gallagher in. So central midfielder is sort of. We are still on the hunt for a left back. As uh, Conor Gallagher does join, we'll ask McCrory to come and... Yeah, come and welcome him. It'll be great. He's definitely not here to take your position. But, um, yeah, so it is looking now slightly more healthy. So, it's uh, it's it's decent. Ben Johnson, Conor Gallagher in there as well. Ah, uh, Yeah, I like it. It does mean we, I'm a bit more open to, to Luke 09 going. Right, let's see if we can get rid of Conor Townsend because he is not very good at all 50 50 and then mandatory future fee give us 150k see if anyone bites at that for a sort of loan to buy offer i i'm not 
against the new striker. Ross Stewart has signed a new contract. He calmed down and actually agreed to what was a re- reasonable contract. Dane Scarlett, we've got to remember that £31 million, I am probably going to spend that on him because he's just been phenomenal. 13 in 21, a 7.19. He sit, it fits our system really well. Um, he's, a, he's a good goal scorer. I feel like we're probably, we probably are going to pay that £31 million at the end of the year if we've got the money. I'm hoping that we'll get our budgets. It'll be more than £31 million. We splurge it all on Dane Scarlett because we're happy with how the rest of the squad's looking. But uh, we'll, have to, um, we'll have to wait and see for that one. I still think left-back is the crucial point we need. We need a backup left-back. Now, signing backup players in January is always very difficult. So we're still going to stick with the listed. See who's transfer listed. I mean, Ryan Sessegnon, I'm giving Spurs a lot of money, but Ryan Sessegnon wouldn't be too bad. Uh, we'd expect to start the majority of matches. They're willing to sell 16.5 million, 54 grand a week, and he'd want a release fee. I'm not, not against giving him a release fee. He's not brilliant. Again, he's more of a winger, isn't he? He comes with good pace. I know he's injury prone as well, so I think we'll probably pass on Ryan Sessegnon there. Kevin Rodriguez from Fulham. No, not not really liking that. Ben Mee, definitely not. Kamar Lawrence from Toronto in the MLS. He's going to be very good, but 31 years old. I, yeah, this, this is the problem. It seems really difficult to buy... Uh, wing backs and left backs and right backs in in this year's football manager they seem so sort of scarce in terms of people that want to sell them and, and finding good good ability. so let's go and have a look at our um scouted list see if we've got any scouts on here see we've been looking for a right back there let's go and have a look at left back luke thomas oh luke thomas from leicester <sighs> they're never going to want to sell him to us are they delighted to hear you're keen uh he's very interested in the move 83 to 102 million pounds. Oh my word. That is uh, far too much money. Far too much money. Okay, that one's off the cards. Oh, Brandon Williams would have been good to bring in. But they've sent him on loan to Blackburn. Dennis Serkin could try and just buy him back straight away. Pellegrini's obviously in there, who's now moved to Fulham. Maxwell Cornet, or Cornet, depending how you say it, can play all the way up. <sighs> Now, that's something I'm quite tempted by. That is very, very versatile. Let's have a look. So, uh, 20 to 26 million, not too bad. 41 grand. Expect to start the majority of matches. He's not going to replace Messina yet, but he might well do because he's probably an all-rounder better than Messina. He's getting a 7 in the championship. When start, shine for Sheffield United in the Premier League, got a 6.9. Burnley, a 6.8. Is Maxwell Corner the guy we go for? I'm wondering if we can potentially potentially sort out some sort of a deal here. Because I'm not against bringing in Maxwell Cornet. So let's try 13.5 over three years and 7.5, 21 million. Okay, they want 28 and sign a replacement. Well, you're not gonna, definitely not going to let you sign a replacement. Oh, I could have offered them Connor Townsend. Anyway, I've got rid of it. I've got rid of it for now. So let's just see what they say. So let's go 7 million. And we'll go 15. I think 22 million for Maxwell Corner. I don't think that's too bad. What? Oh, because we're not allowing them to sign a replacement first. They're really upping it to make it just stupid. Okay. All right. I understand your, I understand your game there. I think what we're going to do is... Oh, Lloyd Kelly. He's been, getting gr he's been having great performances for Bournemouth in the Championship. 6.9, 6.7. Uh, yeah, he's a, okay, he's been playing very well in the championship. It's another Englishman. Really good pace. He can cross. He can tackle. Do we take a... Who, who's bid on him at the moment? Who's, who's, who's got that bid on him at the moment? Nope, that's me looking at Bournemouth. Okay, let's just do it this way. We'll ask first. Uh, 24 to 39 million. 72 to 105 grand a week. Majority of matches. Big pay rise. Strengthening defence. Who's made... Oh, it's Tottenham and Southampton. For two big bids there. He would definitely move to Tottenham if their bid gets accepted. I don't think we're going to be able to compete with those two. That's annoying. That's very annoying. In fact, who are Spurs, who are Spurs selling then? If they're going... If they're going for him, who Spurs must have sold someone. That's Maxwell. In fact, right, while we're there, let's go in again. Make an offer. If we go... 
hope I'm hoping now because it's a technically a new offer. They're going to be able to put that. Um, they're going to be able to put the the clause in that says they need to sign a replacement player first. I'll then offer them Connor uh, Connor Townsend, and we'll see if this is not. I'm doing this all sorts of wrong, aren't I? What did we go in with before? It was like let's go for that twenty one and a half, eight million sign a player first attacking midfielder left. Ooh. Tom Lawrence is someone I've not been too impressed with this year. Tom Lawrence? Do I give him Tom Lawrence? I might go Tom Lawrence on loan until the end of the season. And we will... Why can't I offer another player? Offer a replacement player. I've done that. I want to give him another player in exchange. Why can't I do that? Hmm. Okay, and we'll give you a bonus as well. If we qualify, or when we qualify at some point for the Champions League, we will give you another two million. Uh, no expiry, no minimum games. I think that's gone. To, uh, go on, take Tom Lawrence on loan. <gasps> okay, they're happy. It's going to total £30 million. How has Tom Lawrence been playing? 6.67. I feel like, yeah, go on. I mean, because it does then give us an option for him to play left back and left wing. £30 million is probably more than I would have wanted to pay. Okay, it's been accepted. He wants to be a regular starter. We'll say you're going to be a squad player. He's happy with that because he's coming back to the Premier League. 75 grand a week is a hell of a lot. So we'll go 60. Uh, we'll go 2 million. Uh, we'll go 3. We're going to add in a clause as well. We're going to say again, if someone from the Champions League comes in to buy you, they can have you for 55 million. I don't think that's too bad a, a doffer. 70 grand. So we're going to go... I sort of want to fix it in at 60. I really, really, really want to fix it in towards towards 60 anyway. Yeah, there we go. You just got to play a bit of hardball and he sticks there. You're getting to see me do negotiations. I know a lot of you great like to see this sort of video where I do the negotiations. So that's going to cover left back and left wing. We may now have to go out and see if we can get someone, if Tom Lawrence agrees to it, because normally these things do have a habit of falling through. Um... And then I guess technically that means we could keep Connor Townsend. Ah, Sergio Regulon's moved to Juventus. That's why they're after the guy from um, from Bournemouth. They're after Lloyd Kelly from Bournemouth. Diego Jota's moved to Arsenal. They're offering him a contract. Steven Bergwijn's gone for Sporting. Okay, all right. No offers for Townsend. That's annoying. These agent offers are rubbish in January. They always are. Uh, seems to be a part of a trans chain. The other deals to happen too. I'm, I'm confident. I hope so. We're professional. I don't see why it's not going to happen. So, we're going into the final few hours. Um, Cornet move delayed. Okay, he's got a work permit. You haven't failed to sign a replacement, have you? Because I'm giving you Tom Lawrence, and that's part of the deal. And you've got a, he's got a bid on him. I don't understand. Okay, reject that delay. Maxwell Cornet transfer. Let's just let that process through. Three hours to go. I'm, I'm probably let's let's come on, come on now, come on. Right, make an offer. Get rid of that. Um, we'll, we'll still give you all the same money, and we want to give you Tom Lawrence. Just take Tom Lawrence, right? Just or take Connor Townsend. Yeah. Okay, they're, they're open to that with an extra five. I take five million. Five million after that many games, and then we'll remove the bonus, and we'll give you twenty million. In fact, we'll give you eighteen million. So it's still let's, let's go for an even thirty million. Even thirty million. Seventeen million over three years. Eight million fee up front. Five million after fifty games. And Connor Townsend. And you want okay? If he scores fifty goals, if he scores fifty goals in and fifty games, you can have it. They want forty-one million. After 10 international appearances, 5 million. I'm not giving you 41 million and a player. Am I? I think I am. Am I going to... I mean, it's not my money, is it? It's not my money. Come on, then. Come on in, Maxwell Cornet. Hopefully now you agree to that. Do you know what? I'm going to go back in for Harry Winks as well. I just think for that price, it's... You can't... You can't... You can't not do it for that price. Al Alin have offered him... Oh, they've offered him a contract at the end of his deal. Um, right, we're going to say... 1.5 million again, but you're going to have to contribute 45 grand of his wages. 45 grand of his wages, and we'll give you 1.8 million. 45 grand of his wages, and we'll give you that 1.8 million. 
31.5, fine. Fine, I'm going for it. I'm going for Harry Winks. I like the English nature of our transfers that we're bringing in. It's a really weird thing. I've never really done it. And I'm hoping that we that the fact he probably should want to stay in the Premier League means that he'll pick us over Al Alin. I'm really worried. Maxwell Cornet. Is 40 million too much for Maxwell Cornet? Would a loan move be more sensible? Um, nah, we'll wrap it up because we can't loan him. We can't loan him. He's not interested in contract talks because of the previous breakdown. But we've now got Spurs paying 45 grand of your 30 whatever grand of your wages. You absolute pillock. Oh, Cornet, you pillock. But we signed and we had a deal. We had a deal. You absolute knobber. Oh. Uh, we had a deal. I'm not giving up on you, Max. Well. Oh, I'm giving up on you. Shit. Oh, no, no, no. We've only got two hours left. And now I'm not getting another left back. Urgh. Talk about panic stations. Who's Omar Richards? And who's, what's he doing from from Tottenham? It doesn't look too bad. I can't just... Why Why am I throwing money at Tottenham? All the time. 5.2 million. It seems like a bargain. He's not been doing very well. 6.7. It was a loan to buy. Oh. Have Bayern Munich got anyone they want to sell me? Have they got... Who's this guy? Rami... I mean, he's... I mean, he... I, I can't see too much of him. Um, They don't want to let him leave. They said no. Okay, we'll give you we'll give you all of his we'll give you sixty grand of his wages because that's all we can afford. Um, and we'll give you an optional future fee of six million. Let's make make that offer. Oh my god, this has gone absolutely dreadfully. I was so confident that we were going to be good. I don't need a, I don't, I've signed Conor Gallagher. I don't need a central midfielder. Just because I wanted Harry Winks for the price, that was it. I saw the I saw the profit margin in my mind, and I was like, "That's what we want." Who's Jordan Zamora? Another left back from Bournemouth. I mean, he can't be very good. Surely he was playing back up to Lloyd Kelly. He's been doing well in the Championship. He did well in the Premier League. He's got the stamina. He's not really strength. He can't jump, and he's five for eight. But he's got pace. He can't really cross. Why can't left backs cross in this game? Andrew Hughes, who are you? Why are you on my list? You're rubbish. I don't want Ryan Sessegnon. I keep looking at Ryan Sessegnon and thinking, oh, yeah, he could do a job. No, I don't want Ryan Sessegnon. Okay, we've got one hour to go. I'm really panicking. Like, really panicking. The squad is looking good. My worry is that our backup left back is currently Connor Townsend. Which isn't necessarily dreadful. It's just that whenever he plays, it's really bad. Oh, man, I have absolutely ruined this. This is not how the last episode of 2021 was meant to go. Even in our under 20... We just have Oliver Bainbridge is here. Who's really not ready to step up. He's highly potential, but he's really not ready to step up to be a left back. Right, 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 right. We've brought in Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson can play both. That's fine. We, we have a bit of cover. We have more cover than I'm probably thinking. Conor Gallagher's come in. Central midfield. I think that's good. We've gone for a cheeky bid on a, a young... We went for Zinchenko. We've made another bid for Zinchenko. I'm panicking. Um, Marcus Edwards is joining, so we've got wingers. Sandry have made a bid for loan till the end of the season and, and then pay his release fee because I think he's going to be really good. He's 21. Central midfielder. Looks looks really useful. Um, currently playing out in Santos. We've got an hour left to go. We're going to have to look at loan-listed players... Let's just see who's out there who isn't based uh, general. Where's general? General, 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 general. Now I want general, general. Uh, based in is not England because we can't have any more domestic loans, right? So Renier, as an attacking midfielder, would probably come in and do absolute wonders for us. Right, straight away, make offer, loan. 50, okay, we can pay 50% of his wages. Th 37 million optional future fee. Which we're, ne we're not going to pay, so I don't mind leaving it in there as optional. I mean, it's an option, isn't it? It's an option, squad player. Okay. Okay, alright. Hopefully we can get these pushed over the line before we... Uh, into. Oh shit, I didn't sign another goalkeeper either. 
Oh, absolute crap bags. Borto has just reminded me of that because we sold Jed Steer and now my backup's Ryan Allsop, who is awful. Okay, we've still, we've got a backup though. We've got a backup, so that's not that's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Zvanek don't really know enough about you, eighteen year old. Okay, there's not too much on loan, is there? There's not too many people. That's because we've got transfers on. Let's go. Uh, that's better. Look at that. Esposito's up there. Oh, Esposito is a striker. He always used to be very, very good on the old ones. Sheldrup. Okay, why have Inter got so many good youngsters out listed for loan? Antonio Marin from Udinese. James Forrest, Zaleski. Romeo Beckham is in the game. Wow, I didn't know he was in the game. There you go. You can sign David Beckham's son. Oh, man, I have no idea how long this video is going to be either because I feel like I've been recording for absolutely ages. Pinsy's in there. Yeah, we're getting down to... Lower echelon. Anyone that my scouts recommend we should really bring in? No. Not at all. That is uh that is not that is not good. That is not good at all. Salcedo? Eddie Salcedo could potentially do a job for us. I know I'm looking at all these people and they're all gonna fail their work permits. Antonio Marin, twenty three years old, he always used to be really good. Are we looking for left wingers or something here? No, we're not. Good. Javi Simon. I mean, with the name Xavi, you've got to be good, right? You can't turn up with the name Xavi and be terrible. No, you, I might go for Salcedo, you know? Just as an option. Just gives us another option. Well, loan offer. Optional future fee, 10 and a half. That's not too bad. Yeah, we can afford that. Yeah, okay. Right, let's try Let's try it then. Maybe two youngsters coming in on a loan in the last hour. It is proper frantic paperwork. Right. Um, so this is going to be... Why are we starting negotiations? It's optional. Oh, no, this is the mandatory one. Yeah, this is the mandatory one. Important first team play. You'll be a regular starter, but you won't. We're not going to do defenders. We'll send you on a language course, and we're not going to give you a big pay rise. We're actually going to say you're going to be a squad player. Right, you're happy with that. Bosh. 42 million. We'll give you uh, 35. We'll give you 1.5. We'll give you 100. We'll give you 10. Minimum fee release clause of Chubbs and Champions League. Make it an even 25. 70 grand after 20 games. That seems like quite a few. Uh, and then, no, I don't I don't really want to pay you a huge pay rise. I don't want to pay you. No, I don't want to pay you a pay rise. I'm just going to give you more money to start with. 40 grand. 40, no, 42. So there you go. 40, we'll give you 40 grand. We'll get rid of these. Exclude all of that. 25 million. 10 grand every time you pay. 1.5. They back you into a corner, don't they, these players? Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. 45. 45's fair, isn't it? 45's fair. Yeah, good. He thinks that's fair exit i don't think he's going to get a work permit in time in fact i don't think any of these are going to get a work permit in time i've just thought about it we've only got an hour please i really hope the government are on our side the government are useless they can't organize anything oh my god they've got work permits zinchenko 31 and a half million Pfft, no uh rainer didn't get his work permit damn it that was probably out of all of these the one i really wanted salcedo has got a work permit so we'll bring Eddie Salcedo in on loan. So that's an option up front. What an absolutely manic deadline day this has been, by the way. Um, I don't give a sh I don't care. Sandry's in. Right. Okay, I like that deal. Sandry is in. He's the guy we're going to pay six million for at the end of the year. And he's only 21 and he's a Brazilian, which is awesome. Right, 30 minutes. There's 30 minutes to go. Sandry is in. Sandry is in. Right. Lovely. Can you do a loan move in 30 minutes? <laughs> can you can you complete a loan move in 30 minutes? Okay, they don't want any of his wages. They don't want any of his wages. The Esposito, come on down, son. Come on, 30 minutes. Bosh it through. It's been accepted. 15 minutes. There's 15 minutes to go. Oh, the deadline's passed. Okay, we bought in Conor Gallagher-Johnson and Eze Salcedo. Oh, look at that. Look how little we spend on wages. We are totally outperforming our wages. Esposito transfer gets cancelled. You've got questions and all oh, this nonsense, which I don't care about. But there we go. What a manic deadline day that was. What an episode to end 2021. We're going to be back. I'm not going to play any more of this. When we come back in 2022, it will be the next half of the season. But yeah, bloody hell. Bloody hell. Sebastian Esposito didn't go. Townsend ended up didn't move into Swansea. Oh man, what a, what that was in the end we signed four people but it felt so frantic. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. 70 million spent, 15 million recouped. I've got a feeling 
that leaves us with enough money to buy Dane Scarlet. So I might just get that deal agreed while the money's in there. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's not brilliant. Let's make sure that we uh, register all of those players. So uh, Salcedo in. Ricky J. Jones doesn't need to be registered. I don't think Sandry needs to be registered. No, he doesn't. Uh, Connor Gallagher does. Ben Johnson does. And uh, yeah, that takes uh, 19 players registered. So we still still have another, a number of under 21s in there, which is good. Ricky J. Jones definitely. I just need to double check that we're definitely not registering someone or we're not missing someone that needs to be registered. Is there anyone that we can just sort of, we might as well register in here that we need? Nathan Newell, we might need him, I guess. Vinny Steels, I think all these guys are pretty rubbish, but is there any harm in... No, I'm not going to, because potentially we might pick up, we might pick up like a free transfer or something. We'll have a look around that in a minute. Okay, we'll confirm that squad. We will be back for the next episode, which will be on, hopefully, the 1st of January. If not the 2nd of January, it will be recorded. We're going to go through the seasons a little bit. I'm going to miss this absolute nightmare of a month in February. Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea with Ipswich in the FA Cup. Maybe Brighton and West Ham. Maybe we'll come back there. We'll see how the league is looking. That was frantic. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that. It's rare I do an episode fully on deadline day, but that was worth it. That was absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much for watching. For now, I'm out, and I'm going to have a lie down and have a big old sleep on that aeroplane. Thank you for watching. See you in 2022. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Have a great one. I'll speak to you soon. For now, I'm out. Cheers. <laughs>